Hey, good morning, Church on the Ridge. Hey, it's great to see you. It looks like Molly's joining me again. Uh, it's great having you this morning. I'm going to get out of Mark chapter 9 for just a little bit, or 10, I think I'm in. And uh, I was in reading Acts chapter 19, where Paul was uh, in Ephesus, and he had uh, started a church there. It was an incredible story of how uh, God had used him and made an impact upon all the people. Well, he'd been there two years, pouring into the people, releasing some new leaders, and he's ready to leave and go into Macedonia. And uh, a huge riot uh, starts. Um, Demetrius starts getting the town in an uproar, saying that Paul was trying to destroy uh, the market for their idols that he was making to the god Artemis. And uh, they grabbed some Christians and brought them into the arena. And it was just going to be ugly. Well, Paul wanted to go in and preach the gospel. Would you think, hey, yeah, way to go, Paul. But it would have just made things worse. And so a couple of Paul's buddies, actually probably the whole church there, but it says some of his friends grabbed Paul and said, hey, Paul, don't go in there and pleaded with him not to go in. And he even got some other friends. There were some other friends who wrote him letters. Some town officials said, look, we've got this. Don't go in there, Paul. And I'm so glad they did because Christians didn't die and that, uh, that experience didn't get martyred. And Paul was kept from, you know, actually probably going to prison, maybe being martyred himself. Um, so here's the, here's the thing. Do you have friends in your life that will keep you from uh, getting yourself and others into trouble? Do you have friends that will keep you going into places where you shouldn't go? Even if your intentions are good, even if you think it's a good thing, do you have people in your life that can look at you and go, hey, man, you, we are not going to let you go there. We love you enough to keep you out of this. Uh, who in your life can speak that way into you? I know this. If you don't have anybody watching over you, you're going to run into trouble and you're going to smack dab on your nose and hurt yourself and other people, your family members in the process. I want to encourage you, find some people in your life who can speak into your life, who can tell you no, who can hold you back, who love you enough to tell you the truth, and watch what happens in your life. Maybe today, make a list of people that you would write a note to and say, hey, I want you to know that anytime you see me going into a place I shouldn't go, you have the right to call me out. And uh, if you see me heading down a path that's going to get me in trouble, I want you to get in my face and say, stop, 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 hold me back. Get other people. Here's a list of other people that uh, can, can speak into my life. Watch what happens. There will be a protection over your life and a safety that will encourage you, it will encourage your spouse, the people in your life. Go, oh, hey, that person's accountable. I, I trust that you'll do it. Jesus had, was accountable to his people. He was accountable to the Father. The great Apostle Paul needed people in his life, and you do too. Father, I thank you that we can be accountable to one another, to the people of God, to the people in our small group, to the people who love us, the people in our family that we trust. Lord, I pray that there would be such a safety over the people of Church on the Ridge. We would never do these things that, uh, that just run in headlong into, into uh, trouble and, uh, and persecution and things that would really um, not be good for us. Lord, I love you. Help us to, God, allow ourselves to be open and have input from others. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, I love you, Church on the Ridge. We'll see you tomorrow.